Hey there, thanks for turning down my road. If this is your first time here, my name's Carl. My little brother and I both work for local farmers full time, but we both also farm together with our cattle herd and our hay operation. Everybody's involved, from the smallest to the biggest. If you don't have the joy of farming yourself, I'd love to help you experience it through this channel. Whatever your background, you found the right place. This is Dodge Brothers Farm and Ranch. Well, it's chisel plowing season, and along with running the chisel plow comes replacing worn out shovels. Take a look at this. These shovels experience a lot of wear as they're traveling through the field, digging up the dirt. Look at how much this one is worn already. It's almost gone to the point where it was gonna start damaging the bottom of the uh, shank pretty soon. So we're replacing shovels. We also have the option, of course, of flipping these over, using the other end of it until it's shot. But I'm replacing the whole set right now. I'm gonna save some of these for spares in case we have some break on a rock or get bent or something like that. But let me show you what I've got today. I was just sent a couple sample shovels from a company called Agritough. This baby is really thick and they claim that it's going to last a lot longer and uh, wear a lot slower than the ones that we're used to running. Well, I've got all the shovels changed. I've got the Agritough shovels on there. Um, I put one of them on the front row. So this is the normal shovel. This is the Agritough. You can see it kind of has a, uh, a rib down the middle of it and it also uses hex bolts instead of the traditional plow bolts. I put the other one that goes the other direction right here so that it's behind the tires. Uh, so I'll be comparing this one to that one over there that's also behind the tire. And I'll be comparing this one here to this other one that's in the middle. We'll see how they hold up. Here's the view from the back side of the uh, regular shovel. And then here's the Agritough. I want to show you how we're getting along after we've been over 250 acres with them. It's pretty impressive. Okay, on the old school shovels, from the bolt hole to the corner is six and a quarter inches right now. So we've lost an inch and three quarters off of the uh, original length of the shovel. So let's go test the uh, Agritough. The Agritough shovel from the bolt hole to the tip is currently at seven and a half inches. So this shovel has only lost a half inch. This one has lost an inch and three quarters. Now I really should be testing this one against that shovel over there since it's in the exact same position uh, behind the wheels. So I'll go take a look at that one. Okay, this one isn't quite as bad. It's between six and a quarter and six and a half. So it's lost just over an inch and a half, but the Agritough shovel has only lost half an inch. Another thing to take note of is look at how sharp and thin the edge of these shovels has become. If you zone in on this, that's getting really thin and it's going to wear away really fast from here on out. Now if you look at the edge of this shovel, it's still very thick. I don't foresee the wear process speeding up a lot here. Okay, it's been 400 acres, so we're going to flip the shovels over, all of them except the Agritough shovels. We're going to leave them because I want to see how much wear we can get on that first edge. All right, here are the two front shovels to compare to each other. I just took this one off. So they're opposite twists. They're going the opposite direction. So let me line the very 
top of the brand new edge up and we'll follow it down. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Now let's flip the flip this one over and line up the bolt holes straight across from each other. Look at that. So there is the new edge of the store brand shovel versus the 400 acres used edge of the uh, Agrita shovel. That is impressive. Well, I'm riding with the newest chisel plow operator. How's it going? Good. Are you a fan of the new tractor? I love it. Does it change your feelings about your grain cart tractor? Yeah. <laughs> it's so quiet and it's easy to operate. And it rides better, does it not? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It took me 10 minutes at least to grease the front end of this thing this morning. There's all these uh, pivot points and whatnot where the suspension works. Lots of greasing to happen. Hey, we've got all of our fall tillage done, which is fantastic. We finally got it done before the ground froze up. This is the first year in a long time we could say that. I got the chisel plow all cleaned up. I want to show you the final results from our test of the AgriTuff shovels versus the store brand shovels. Come take a look. So here is the AgriTuff shovel from the front row. It actually broke clean off on the edge. And I don't know if that's a freak deal or if that's a problem with the shovel. I kind of think it was a freak deal. We were pulling it really deep in a pretty rocky field and I think we just hit a really big rock underground and tore it off. This was in the front row. Um, we have obviously broken off the tips of a lot of our store brand shovels as well, but this shovel made it over a lot of acres. This shovel made it 600 acres before it got the tip broken off and if we look at the other one that's still on the chisel right here. This one has 760 acres of use on it. And we're gonna do a little measuring and compare it to the other one. You'll notice that the one we're comparing it to that's in the same position behind the wheels as this one is on this side, it's bent down and there's really hardly anything left of it. It's getting so thin that it can't hold up anymore. So let's do our measurements and see how it fared. So if you remember the original shovels of both brands were eight inches from the tip of the corner to the bolt hole. So now let's measure from the edge of the bolt hole to the used corner, seven inches on the AgriTuff shovel. So it's lost one inch. The store brand shovel, here's the first side that we used. We flipped this over, that's measured five and a half inches. Now the second side that we're using is worn down to about five, five and an eighth. It's kind of hard to measure because the edge of the shovel is bent down so much. So five inches and five and a half inches off of eight, we've lost a grand total of five and a half inches of uh, material off the store brand shovel and only one inch off the AgriTuff. Now we did break that other one, but that's pretty impressive.
Well, I think it goes without saying, even though I've definitely at least said it 10 times already in this video, those AgriTuff shovels are impressive. Uh, who knows why that one broke off? Maybe it was a strange freak deal where it got stuck between two rocks underground and, and just had enough leverage to bust the tip of it off. I don't know what happened. I would have to try some more of them for more acres to figure out if that was gonna be a problem. But just the difference in wear alone gets me really excited because I hate stopping for an hour and a half to change shovels multiple times in the middle of the season. And I think we could probably almost make it through an entire fall tillage season without ever flipping those over. Meaning if they didn't break, we could probably get two years out of one set of shovels. That's crazy. The one thing we don't know yet is we don't know what they're gonna be priced at. I reached out to the AgriTuff rep and these are prototypes that are not available to purchase yet. Now they're supposed to be available for purchase by next fall, so who knows? Depending on the price point, we just might have 13 of them on the chisel plow next fall instead of just two. Hey, let me know in the comments section if you like testing videos like this where we test one product against another. I think it's a lot of fun, but I really wanna know what you guys think. I hope you liked it. Thanks for riding along, and as always, I'll see you next time.